Hi guys, on this one we've got a, I'm doing a bit of decorating and I've decided I'm going to upgrade this radiator. It's a single convector. I'm going to um, change it to a um, double convector using a bigger one. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is isolate these valves here to stop the, um, turn them off basically. And then um, all I'm going to do is um, undo these um, valve connectors here. And you can see I put a little bowl underneath to catch the water. There, that's to catch the water. And the same up this side. Just undo that and catch any water that's in there. Um, and so all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the ends of the um, valves and remove the radiator. Obviously, it's a bigger radiator. You're going to have to need help with this, but here you can see I'm holding the ends to stop the water coming out because it's black and it'll make a mess. And uh, here you see I've just got to remove the brackets now, um, the, the mounting brackets from for the old radiator. Fortunately, the, they put these, when they've done the central heating here, they put them on these 10 mil um, pipes, which are flexible. So I can put a wider radiator on. As you can see, I bought one here. I'm just taking the um, house wrapping off. And this is what it comes with. Um, two wall mount brackets. And you get the raw plugs, the screws or bolts. And the little insert guide there. And the end cap and the bleed valve. So here, let me, I'm just showing you um, this how it mounts onto the wall. When it's on the wall. When the bracket's on the wall. It just hooks on the, onto the radiator at the back like so. So I'm just going to do my measurements here. Um, just to find out exactly where it's going to fit onto the wall. And I'm just doing my markings here. Make sure I've got it at the right height and the right um, width. And here you can see me just making sure my markings are level. And uh, vertical. Here you can see me just marking the holes for the um, bolts. What I'm going to drill through, and I'll just put an X, which marks the spot where I'm going to be drilling on both sides. So I'm just drilling the holes here. Just got a um, vacuum on the end just to keep the dust down. And now that I've drilled the holes. I'm just going to pop these um, roll plugs in, into the holes, like so. And then I've just got to screw the mounting brackets to the wall. Here you can see them here. Just a um, 10 mil head on this one, top and bottom. And I've got to do the same for the other side. That's nice and tight there. As you can see, you can hear it sounds solid. That's the sound you want. That's tight against the wall there. So now that I've got that done, I've got both brackets on. I'm just gonna put it up against the wall to see if it fits okay before I actually connect it. But before that, um, I'm going to fit the um, supplied end cap and the bleed valve to the top. That's the actual bleed valve there. It's got a little um, black seal ring around it. And that just screws into the top. Doesn't matter which side or which side, it, whichever takes your preference. And I'll just tighten that up. And I'll do the same with the other end. Uh, this is just the end cap. Just screw that into the top. And I've turned the radiator, right ups, ups, radiator upside down. You've got to remove these plastic lugs while it comes uh, with. And um, I'm going to fit the... Um, 
connector for the um, valves for the thermostat valve on the radiator and the isolation for the other end here you can see I'm just using um, PTFE tape to get a good seal I'll just wrap that around the thread of the um, connector and just tear that piece off there and that should just screw straight into the bottom I've got it upside down of the radiator of the one end and I'll just finish that up with a spanner get nice and tight make sure there's no leaks and I'll just turn the radiator around and do the same on the other end I've used the isolation valves off the old radiator uh, the connector sorry and it's the same thing remove the plastic bong and um, fit the connector to the other end and here you can see me just um, trying it up against the wall make sure it's nice and where I want it and that looks fine to me so I'm going to take it back off the wall now and uh, like I said I'm doing a bit of decorating here so I'm going to just paint sorry I'm just going to put these little inserts for the radiator supplied with it little tabs what the radiator sits on and then I'm just going to do a bit of um, painting at the back of the radiator just to cover the marks and now that that's done I'm going to fit the radiator back on like so and then all I've got to do now is connect these valves and I'll just tighten them up with a spanner and that's the other side and then all I've got to do now is open the water, open the uh, valve, let the water in and you can see here it's all air coming out and then water will eventually come out and that's me bleeding the radiators and once that's bled I'll just go back down to the um, boiler and make sure the pressure is correct and that pretty much does it that's all complete now just give you a look no leaks at all and working fine with that I'll just show you what it looked like before and after thanks for watching and please subscribe